Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Last time, Joe finished up in Traverse Town for the moment, and now Barack is going to take over for us. We'll be using the gummy ship for the first time manually instead of just through a cutscene. Yeah, I'm really excited to get into the game myself, but um, Jordan, I think there's something important that you need to tell Donald and Joe about what's coming up soon for us. What's going on? Did something happen that we should be concerned about? Did someone steal my popsicle collection at the White House? I had one of every flavor ever invented and was going to sell them if I ever needed the money for something important. No, Joe, your popsicles are probably okay, but Barack is right. There is something I needed to tell you all about. Ben and Barack already know this, as I've been working with Ben and I gave Barack the full rundown at the end of part three for those in the audience that didn't watch or remember it since last time. The short version is we've been having some problems with the stability of our world. Yeah, that's been happening ever since Joe got into the White House. That's not quite what I meant. I mean that there are actually other worlds aside from the one we live in with their own variants of Joe Donald Barack and probably even Ben and myself. Things have been destabilizing, and I'm not sure if traveling to other worlds in the gummy ship are going to add to that, but I expect we may have some visitors from these other worlds very soon. I've told some pretty crazy stories, but that's a bit much even for me. I have to side with you here, Joe. There's no way there's other worlds or anything insane like that. There's only one Donald here, and that's me. Well, I suppose there's two if you count Donald Duck, but there's only one Donald Trump. Well, I suppose there's two if you count my son, but there's only one of me, one of Barack, and thankfully for my sanity, one of Joe. <laughs> Well, what? Where am I? Oh, no, I died in my sleep and went to hell, didn't I? God, I promise I was only reading that manga about elementary schoolers for the plot. Okay, did I take Joe's medication by mistake, or did Joe change clothes and also become interested in manga suddenly? Unfortunately, you did not take his medication, and no, he did not suddenly change clothes. In fact, I don't think any of us have changed clothes or even facial expressions once aside from me using my Abracabama spell. I had a little bit of doubt, but no, it does look like an alternate version of Joe has left his world and showed up in ours. I'm not quite sure how long this is going to last, but I think it's best we give him a moment to collect himself. Hey, now that I think about it, I don't think we ever explained what's going on in the gummy ship. Basically, you travel through space and you're able to shoot obstacles in the way. Later on, we'll get some weapons and portals that will- Ben, do you honestly think I care about the game mechanics right now? I am literally living my worst nightmare of having to deal with more than one Joe like is that somehow not enough. Did I do something to deserve this fate? I've always dreamed of having another me and now I finally get to have that come true. I wonder if this Joe also has a popsicle collection at the White House. I'm not sure about that, but on a more important note, we're heading into the first Disney World. It'll be interesting to see how the six of us can get through it. My Donald runs exactly like that weird rabbit. Somehow I feel like I'm being dissed as I'm guessing your Donald isn't in shape. Not that I'm not in shape since I'm very muscular, possibly the most muscular man there is, but still. I am curious on how many details between the presidents line up with other versions of themselves. Evidently, this one likes manga, and I don't think our Joe does, or at least hasn't admitted it in one of his insane stories. I suppose we can probably just ask when the game doesn't have a lot of events happening in it that we'll have to watch, maybe when it's just exploring and not cutscenes. How did he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. <laughs> that tracks. Hey, is anyone else thinking what I'm thinking? I sincerely doubt it, no. Well, how high off the ground is that doorknob, would you say? A couple of feet, probably why. What else is a couple of feet off the ground? I mean, it's the perfect height for, not that I do that. It seems a little old for me. I'm not sure what you mean, but for the well-being of everyone mentally in our monetization status with the channel, I'm not going to ask. So I haven't seen the movie, but with talking doorknobs and tables that just show up from the middle of the ground, I'm guessing this doesn't follow as much logic as the real world does. We currently have two of me here right now, and I know Ben is all about logic and facts, but I think we have to question those right about now. Honestly, the new Joe isn't even that bad so far, and I suppose I may have overreacted a little bit earlier, so I apologize if I came across the wrong way. The Joe and I here often clash about pretty much everything, so it's kind of natural, but not okay for me to assume the same about you. That was very good of you to be considerate towards our guest, and I'm sure you two will get along much better now that you should be on better terms. I really hope so, too. This is more like it. Who's the babe in the blue dress? No, Joe, that's not okay. She's like around 10, probably younger. That's not what I asked, Barack. That would be Alice from Alice in Wonderland, written by Lewis Carroll. That's a hot name. I wonder if she has daddy issues. That's always an easy end. 
Trust me, that tends not to be the case from my experience. Guys, I don't think I can do this anymore. I can't stand one Joe in our playthroughs half the time, but now there's two. And somehow they're both interested in someone who has only barely hit the double digits in age. I don't care about other worlds and destabilizing since if this is what we're in for, I think we should just let it fall apart. Donald, I understand your point of view, but we have to work together if we're going to continue with this playthrough and somehow by the end of it save the multiverse. I know that's a bit of a stretch to believe that would happen, but even if it doesn't, we might as well play this game in the meantime, since what else are we really going to do? Go to college? Tokyo? Space? Our options are a bit limited right now. Yeah, Jordan's probably right. I mean, the only other idea I had in mind was just making more Daily Wire videos, so we need you to stay with us here. Uh, fine, I'll try to hold it together for a while. Hey guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's against the rules. The court finds the defendant guilty as charged for the crimes of assault and attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! Oh please! Hold it right there! You know this trial is nearly as rigged as the one against me. I think we should help Alice get free from the Democrat judge here that was obviously paid off. I disagree with your reasoning, but I do agree with the conclusion of saving Alice, so let's do it. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh. At least she's still alive now. We'll have time to help get her out, and then the Joes can riz her all. No, I will not let either of you Joes riz her or do anything else like that to her. This is a relatively family-friendly experience, and I aim to keep it that way. For once, thank you for trying to put some reason into them. Yeah, I was just about to do the same. I should get some of those card guys for the White House. They'd be a lot cooler than the Secret Service. Yeah, they tend not to like it when I put them in those costumes. They say it's really hard to breathe when their body is compressed to the size of a playing card. Wait a minute, you haven't played this game before, so you just naturally decided one day you were going to dress up members of Secret Service in a costume that makes them look like a card. And you were actually going to make it so their insides were condensed to the length of a playing card. That is correct, yes. On a more important note, our goal is to find evidence that will clear Alice's name to the judge. I think there's four parts, if I remember correctly. So, Barack, you can let us know if you need any sort of hints on where to go, since the layout of this place isn't very clear, as this room alone has five or six different rooms connected to it, and not all of them are very helpful. Oh, okay, that's good to know. As soon as this cat stops talking to me, maybe I can actually get a move on with finding the evidence. If the layout is as unclear as this thing's dialogue, then we actually might be here for a while. That log section might just be me, but it seems a little out of place where we're at. I think most of the areas we've seen didn't have large objects like that sitting around without being able to interact with it in some way, so I'm thinking we might be able to do something with it. That is a very good observation, Donald, and you are correct. It can be manipulated, but not quite yet, as Sora isn't large enough to do anything with it right now. Does that mean he gets larger? I didn't know that he could just do that suddenly. I wonder if everyone else can too. Hey, that reminds me of this thing that happened to me a while ago where I gave a flower a potion and then... Joe, now is not a good time for one of your incomprehensible stories. Not that there is a good time in general for them, but point being, I'm a little on edge with there being more Joes to handle than typical. Thank you, Donald, although I didn't want to listen to Joe's story. Either he was right about Sora growing larger as the flower lets him do that when it's given certain items. There's a few like that in the area, but this is the only one that does this specific thing. The others just give other items and aren't all that useful. It seems I can hit this tree a few times. I wonder if it will help me get Sora back to normal size. Otherwise, we may be stuck. Don't eat that fruit. What? Why not? Because there are a lot of sickos out there putting weird things in food and just leaving them around for people to eat. I should know I do it all the time. I can't believe I have to ask this to anyone, much less a president, but why would you do that? Depends. Sometimes for business, sometimes for pleasure. That does not answer my question, but I don't think any answer to that is a good or legal one. While we have some spare time with Barack looking for clues, I did want to ask something. My sources at the Daily Wire confirm that our new Joe's World designation is called Kings of the Ring, although I'm not quite sure what that means. Joe, do you happen to know what it is referring to? Jordan Peterson, huh? This is a little awkward because in my universe, we almost kissed at a spin the bottle party. The year was 1965 and the Beatles were at the top of the charts, so my friend Black Benjamin, we called him that on account of his being a... I'm sorry to cut you off, but I've heard enough stories from my Joe to know I do not want to hear the end of that sentence. Oh, right. To be honest, Barack, I mean the Barack in my universe, made the channel years ago. He never gave me the whole story, but I think it used to be devoted to WWE audition videos he made. He had a wrestling persona and everything. Don't tell him, but the whole thing was pretty lame. We almost lost the 2012 election because of it. 
That certainly wasn't an answer I was expecting, but then again, I don't know what I could have possibly expected at this point. Barack, you seem to be all right navigating yourself. Do you think you'll need either Ben or I to help you at all? No, I think I'm making it around just fine, but thank you. It's actually not that hard to get the controls down, so I think I'll manage fine enough. In retrospect, this is probably one of the more confusing worlds, especially for a new player. I think this game is harder to get into than the others as you have to think about it more like an RPG than a typical action game as the way forward isn't always clear, though later entries make it more streamlined. I do think it sets this game apart from the others because of that, though, and repeated playthroughs are much more fun because of it. That is a very good way of putting it. I do think some of the later games, mainly Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3, improve on the overall fun with combat, but this one is perhaps better in having more condensed worlds with more to do in each individual screen as there's often a lot to interact with aside from just jumping from one spot to another or hitting items. I don't think this discussion has as much impact on the three of us as we haven't even seen, much less played the other games yet. Sorry we're really into this series and sometimes forget about the fact you all haven't played it yet. That's all right, I'm sure we'll understand it more in the future. There's that creepy cat again, little fucker freaks me out. Whoa, well, Joe, we try to keep our language relatively friendly around here. Then again, your manga about elementary school children threw that out the window, so I don't think it'll make much of a difference at this point. You're right on that, Donald, but more importantly, Barack, you got the Blizzard spell, which is more useful to enemies on the ground as it goes straight ahead and doesn't have any homing properties like the fire attack. Honestly, I don't think it's as useful as most other spells, but at the same time, it's quite good against fire enemies as predictably they are weak to ice. Well, that is good to know. Thank you, Ben. I think I only have one more of these clues left to get, so I'll keep searching around for the last one, and then I'll go talk to someone in the courtroom about giving the evidence. Even with all of the evidence, it will probably be hard to win as the Biden administration bribes are still going to cause things to go against Alice, just like they did against me. That is clearly not the case in both the real world and in the game, though you're probably right in that it'll still be biased. This medieval vibe is giving me flashbacks to my time with King Arthur. Wait, you were actually alive that far back? No, I was totally one of the Knights of the Round Table, but it wasn't as cool as it seems. What do you mean? For one, it was more of an oval than a circle. Uh, yeah, I was really upset when I learned the Oval Office was actually shaped like an oval. I hate it when that happens. And we did far more administrative work than battles and stuff. All right, what do you mean by that? Yeah, like 80% of my job was documenting crop yields, but I had a big sword, so that was cool. I never really thought of it quite like that before. Honestly, I wouldn't mind so much if these were the stories our Joe would tell since they're still not very realistic, but nothing really terrible has happened in them so far. Back on the topic of the game, you had to choose a box of evidence, but I don't think it really matters that much which one you choose. Either way, you'll have to do a fight, and it's a bit difficult once we get there. The Queen doesn't exactly understand what the Heartless is, so this is pretty much what happens. You can already tell things are not going especially well for Alice here. Yeah, I figured that. So the idea for this fight is mainly to attack the gears in the middle structure there. The card guards are going to attack you and probably do a lot of damage. Donald and Goofy probably won't last all that long, so as long as you keep attacking the tower and occasionally the enemies, you should be able to save Alice. I think Donald and Goofy are actually doing all right. It's me who is getting low on health since these guys are pretty fast at attacking me. It's at least nice. It's not too easy of a fight, so it gives me something to focus on. That is a good way of looking at it. I never really liked this in the last fight in this world as the attack patterns aren't too difficult to understand. It's just more of the fact you don't have many healing options when the enemies get you to low health so quickly. I think we can cut ahead since you did the fight well, Barack, even though we may have removed one or two failed attempts off screen, admittedly. On one hand, it's concerning that Alice got kidnapped, but with how both Joes were acting towards her when she first showed up, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. It's bad that you're actively looking for the bright side of a child being kidnapped, but otherwise I agree with you. All right, at this point, Barack, you have to go through that section before and go to a new spot that was previously covered by a rock. You'll be able to find a way to activate something important being found in the room with the table earlier, but there's not much else to do now. While we pass the time, does anyone have any questions to ask our guest? I feel like I'm going to regret that quickly, but this whole thing doesn't happen often, so might as well do it while we have time. Actually, yes, so other Joe, I was wondering how it's like in your world. Is it a lot different based on what we've talked about so far? I'm sure it's not very different from here. I'm the president of the United States, but I don't really do much work. I'm usually having adventures with Donald and Barack. We've been going to college on and off for a while, doing the typical college stuff like heist and destroying cults run by James Corden. And we have a whole bunch of cool friends like this immortal Indian guy named Haresh and this really dumb Southern guy with a heart of gold named Todd. And we're always on the run from our mortal enemy, Rob. He used to work at Hershey Park, but now he's pretending to be a cop. Oh, we've also been to space. That was pretty fun. 
That does sound a lot more exciting than what we typically get up to since it's usually just playing video games together and fighting pretty frequently, especially in our golf matches. Your life sounds a lot more like an adventure than ours by comparison. Are we just looking past the fact that this Joe almost went to space? Then again, he traveled through the multiverse to get here probably, so I guess it's not as extreme of a story as I thought. I think the immortal Indian part is a little bit less believable than the space part, but this sounds about right for a Joe story from any world. Barack, do you think you know what to do in this game since I don't have any ideas of my own that would help you? I don't think you've actually helped in any way so far today, and I didn't expect that would be changing now all of a sudden, but that's okay. I think if I can light these things, I should be able to activate what I need to, if I understand this correctly. You're right, Barack. You're doing well, especially for your first time through, and you haven't needed much direction from us at all. Thanks, Jordan. I think I'll be done with this soon enough, or at least I hope so. Oh, looks like the Shadows had the same idea about the doorknob. Hold up what? I don't think that's what they're doing. I'm sure Shadows want to get off just as much as the rest of us, Ben. I have a feeling that means something very inappropriate in your world, so I'm not going to ask any further on that. Hey, Barack, you got a Thundara G. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds like one of those Final Fantasy magic spells. You are correct in that it's a Final Fantasy spell, though. Since we don't have the regular Thunder spell yet, I would assume the G means gummy ship, as someone mentioned it earlier, about having more weapons. Yet another correct guess. We can customize the ship later, but that will be helpful for attacking the other ships in between worlds and when we get better equipment, though, that won't be until a while later. This should be where the last fight takes place. Kind of a weird spot to do it, but it's as good as any right now. Don't worry, Barack, we're here for you. If you need us, though, you'll probably be all right. Yeah, you got this for sure, no issues. Okay, we cut out the other times, but this is probably attempt number four, or something like that as Barack keeps getting hit when he shouldn't have to. Well, it's not my fault that it's barely even possible to hit him while jumping and just have to hope he's low enough to get any attacks off. Plus, later on, he starts shooting fire, which I can barely dodge. First off, skill issue. Second, you can still jump on some parts to reach him on the head. I agree that he moves around a lot, and it's not easy, but still. I think I'm starting to remember this game. Wait, you've played this before? Yeah, it was back during my Senate days. Mitch McConnell and I brought a PS2 into the Senate chambers. It helped pass the time during boring discussions and votes and stuff. I remembered because this fight pissed me off. I could never reach that tall fucker's hitbox. Bro is hogging all the legs. Uh, yeah, just like Alice. Is it possible for us to have one part of the video where the president isn't fantasizing about a minor? Is that a goal we can accomplish? I hope so, but at this point, I don't know if we can do it. I'll try to fight this guy as well as I can so we don't have to stay here longer than necessary. Hey, Brock, I was thinking if this uses fire, then maybe your ice magic will work well against him. That is a good idea, but based on the fact that I can barely hit him with the Keyblade, as it is, I think a straightforward magic shot is nearly impossible to hit him, even if it would do a lot of damage, which it probably wouldn't. Hey, I was thinking about something for Ben and Jordan. You two seem to know more about this whole multiverse thing than Barack, Joe, and myself. Even if Barack gets his act together and beats this guy, then what's going to happen to the other Joe? It's not like we can just manually bring him back to a place we've never been to. Is his world even still intact at this point? That is a very good question, Donald. To tell you the truth, I'm not really sure for some of that. From what I've researched, it's only the space between worlds that's having problems and not the worlds themselves, so wherever he came from should still be okay. That being said, if the problem gets worse, then there's no telling what could happen, but for the moment, it's fine. As to what's going to happen with him in a few minutes, I'm not really sure. Hey, Barack, are you done yet? This is really taking a while, and I'm starting to fall asleep over here. Nobody asked you, Joe Plus, you would be falling asleep anyway. Regardless, if I was doing better, we could be in the middle of an earthquake, tsunami, and lightning storm at the same time, and you'd be sound asleep like you always are. I also did want to mention I do apologize for not being honest with my full intentions on joining this group. It's something that I was tasked to do, though I still have really enjoyed our games together so far, and even when this whole problem with the multiverse is resolved, I still intend to play with you all in various games, if that is okay. Don't worry about it, we understand you had an important job to do, even though I'm not really sure what that all entailed exactly, so you're still free to join us whenever we play something together. Okay, you know what, we're cutting ahead now. This is taking way too long, and Joe was right. I'm starting to fall asleep with this guy, just not being available to hit half the time and shooting fire the other half. Normally, I wouldn't allow that, but in this case, I don't think boring the audience would be the best option, so that's fine. All right, it's done now. Sorry if I seemed a little impatient during that fight. It just wouldn't end, and I could have done the fighting better for sure. 
At least it's over now. Sora should be able to seal the keyhole for this world, and personally, I'm hoping that we'll somehow send our other Joe back to his world, as I have no other ideas for getting him back. Like, if this doesn't work, there is no backup plan, so I'm putting all of my figurative eggs into this basket. Whoa, what's this feeling? I think I'm going to hell for real this time, probably because of what I said about Alice. Or maybe I'm going back to my universe. Either way, this is goodbye, guys. I'll miss you, Joe. I hope I grow up like you someday. I hope he doesn't. I hope your Rob guy catches you soon. Well, that was certainly an interesting experience. I imagine this could even continue past this world since we have quite a few more Disney areas left. Who knows, we may end up seeing someone new next time. Oh, great, there's more. We'll have Donald play next time, but for now, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to Kings of the Ring, Joe, for their time. Peace out, people.